living and working abroad, especially in the United States, is an idea entertained by many young professionals all across the African continent. Opportunities, career advancement, and better quality of life has driven a lot of young professionals to the United States, and that was so in my case. For same reasons, I moved here from Ghana where I was raised. I worked as a registered nurse in Ghana before moving here in June 2011. The process of transferring my professional credentials as a nurse was not as easy. After high school, I wanted to read economics at the University of Ghana, but my grades in math could not get me admission into the university for such program. I had read about nursing, so I decided to study that. After four years, I graduated, took the nursing exam, and began working in the hospital. I worked in both a medical and a surgical unit. We had lots of patients. So many that sometimes we would have to put mattresses on the floor. As a nurse in Ghana, we attended to lots of patients. There is a very high patient to nurse ratio. The dominant case we treated was malaria. There were others like cardiac issues, diabetes, and some not as common as meningitis, and there were malnourished kids. I worked in the oncology unit for a while, but I did not like it. Patient had cancer, but couldn't afford treatment. The doctors and nurses did what they could to help them, but it was a cash and carry system. So if you could not pay, then you could not get treatment. Working at the OR during my rotational period was more enjoyable especially working with children with cleft palates. When we removed bandages after they had undergone repair, the smiles on their faces was just amazing. I worked in Ghana for a year and a half. I decided to come to the U.S. for economic reasons. My mom was indifferent and the rest of my family supported it. A couple of my cousins lived here in Virginia outside Washington, D.C., so I moved there. The process of becoming a registered nurse in the U.S. took an entire year. The first step was the nursing board to evaluate my academic credentials to assess my qualification to take the examination for registered nurses in the U.S. They needed document from me and from my school to clarify if my program was up to the standard in the U.S. While administrative tasks like getting transcript are easy in the U.S., they are not as smooth in Ghana. After submitting the form, I had to call to follow up and pay people money to get it sent to me. It took a month. After evaluating my transcript from Ghana, the Nursing Board of California found me eligible to take the board exam, which is the NCLEX, for my license as a registered nurse here in the United States. The Ghanaian Nursing Board had multiple choice and five essays and more about practice and application of nursing skills. In the U.S., the board are all multiple choices and each question has several correct answers, but you have to choose the one that is most accurate. Also, for the U.S. exam, you had to know about most medications and the side effects and the outcomes. It was not an easy transition. It was quite a different system, standard and required a lot of reading. In March 2017, I passed the nursing exam and became a registered nurse in the U.S. Now I'm transferring my registration to Virginia and will start working as a nurse soon.